All right, YouTube, I'm about to react to film theory. Was Corilla actually wrong? 101 Dalmatians. Bro, I haven't watched. I've seen like two versions of this movie my whole life. Animated and like a real life person. I don't even remember. It was years ago. All I remember is, I guess she wanted a dog fur or something. I don't know. I remember from watching this video, though. But, hey, it's a different type of video I'm watching, so. I don't know. I don't usually watch these type of videos, but hey. Give Cruella de Vil a hard time because she wants to kill a bunch of puppies to make fur coats. Yeah. A and yeah, she is actually the worst for doing that. But let's also not forget who actually gave Cruella the idea in the first place. What a charming dog. Thank you. Spot. Yes, yeah, she's Dalmatian. Inspiration. Yes. You saw that right. Anita, our protagonist, outright gives Cruella the idea. But wait, there's more. Long hair or short? Short. Coarse or fine? I'm afraid it is a little coarse. Pity. But it was very fine when she was a puppy. Redemption. Stop giving her information. <sighs> Cruella was ready to give up on the idea until you talked her into it. And it doesn't even stop there. But it's not like I she knew. Spots in the 80s. Well, right. spots are a little different, aren't they? Cozy, cuddly, classic, less trashy. Exactly. And after she outright says, Well, if we make this coat, it would be as if I were wearing your dog. <laughs> what the? Creepy, what the heck? I didn't know she was this creepy, bro. <laughs> Tell her that their dogs are having puppies and that the babies will. Uh, the spots don't come till later. You're sure? Yes. All right. Anita, girl, honey, real talk. Are you trying to get your dogs killed or what? Jeez. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Film Theory, a show that one Mess day hopes so a theory-loving maniac will steal 15 of our theories, and those 15 theories will escape and return to us with 84 more theories for a total of 99. Then we'll write a theory episode about how the person who stole the theories in the first place wasn't a villain at all, make it a two-parter, and bring us to 101. It'll make us millions, we'll start a purebred theory farm, and Disney will make a movie about our life story. Maybe even a prequel story about the villain who stole him in the first place. Or or maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Yes, in 1956, Dodie Smith penned the book 101 Dalmatians, which introduced the world to the all-time great villain Cruella de Vil, a scheming heiress who loves fur. Fun fact. A villain that loves dog hair. Do you hear that? Dog hair. Like, what? The way, in that original story, she also loves eating hot peppers, she's obsessed with fire, and she may just be the descendant of a serial killer who's also the spawn of the devil. And that, my friends, is why it pays to read- Bro, who be making this stuff up, bro? <laughs> For real. Material. Anyway, the plot of the book revolves around Cruella's attempts to steal 15 Dalmatian puppies from her former schoolmate, Anita, in order to turn them into a spotted fur coat. And would you know it, a year later- Alright, this is my last time pa pausing. She wanted to steal dogs. She wants to steal dogs for fur coat. Why don't she just bite a dog and breed them and get that? I, I'm just thinking, bro. I'm just saying, bro. But wouldn't that make sense? 1957, this is Walt Disney himself time. says, Hey, you know that book about the demon spawn that wants to murder a bunch of animal babies? Let's turn that into a kid's movie. Those were, in fact, his exact words. One 79-minute movie later, and history was made. The Cruella character is legendary, becoming one of only three animated characters to appear on the American Film Institute's 100 Years 100 Heroes and Villains list. And now, Cruella on Disney+, Plus because why not humanize the egregiously wealthy heiress who is like, Hey, I can buy whatever I want, but instead... Yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna murder a bunch of adorable puppies. Exactly. Ugh, I'm just hoping they keep the part about her serial killer grandpa in there. Why don't anyway, you get what I zebras? Focus on today is the end of all versions of the story. You see, at the end of the original animated movie, because Cruella was buying and stealing so many dogs, the 15 original Dalmatians now total 101, leaving our hero couple of Roger and Anita to adopt them all and start a Dalmatian plantation to care for them. And while that's all cute and adorable, I mean, that is like a lot of dogs. Like, a lot, a lot of puppies. It's a wonderful gesture having 
and hundreds of dogs running around a country estate in England, but from a logistical and cost Imagine perspective, all that it's dumps. gonna be expensive. For all you dog Ew. owners out there, you know that having one dog can be expensive. Now think about owning 101 Dalmatians who need hours of daily activity and specialized diets to make sure that they don't develop bladder stones. So just how much is it gonna cost you to take care of 101 Dalmatians? Spoiler alert, Man. it may just be enough to make you consider giving Cruella a call. The first step and largest one-time expenditure would be right. buying a large estate in the English countryside. The example of what we're looking for comes from the end of the 1996 film, where the Deerleys live in a gigantic manor that's painted with black and white spots. I mean, look at this thing! Based on current prices of English estates in the countryside, the mansion they bought would cost at least $4,900,000. And I'm talking that is a bare, bare minimum, minimum. price. Let's throw in an extra 50,000 pounds or $70,000 for renovations like fences and miscellaneous costs that'll be needed to prepare the puppy paradise and already you've spent right around five million dollars and before i get into how much it would actually cost to care for the dogs i'm gonna get this out of the way right now do roger and anita have enough money to pay for that short answer yes oh. shockingly in the 1956 book roger's just a financial wizard that's loaded with cash in both the 1961 and 1996 films roger and anita make millions overnight after writing a song and making a video game where they steal and slander Cruella's name and likeness. Excellent villain, mate. Might want to put some of that money aside for legal fees, guys. If dead serious. You gotta make a song? Okay. Well, okay, look. I'm dead serious trying to make a song right now. Well, I never... I'm trying to make one... I never made a song before. I'm trying to make a song. I don't know. I just... On my YouTube channel, I'm just gonna post whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just doing this for fun. You know, see whatever can get me. So, And I'm about to make a song. So... That's Whatever random, comes but for you, hey, she's I'm got working herself on it. Solid case. Now, for as expensive as the English manor might be, the good news is that it means that they don't have to pay for a full-time dog walker. Dalmatians are one of the most active dog breeds, and 101 of them would most certainly require 24-7 help, especially if they were still living in central London. Professional dog walkers earn at minimum $35,000 a year, and with 101 dogs to walk each Just to every walk dogs? You can rest assured that that person would be needing to go around the clock. It's recommended that no more than four dogs are walked at once. But for the sake of simplicity, let's just say that they're doing ten at a time. If each walk is one hour, that is still a ten-hour workday of nonstop walking to get through all of them. As such, we're just going to estimate that you need to hire two professional full-time dog walkers, racking up $70,000 in costs for daily dog walks alone. The other nice thing about having a giant estate for your massive pile of pups is that it gives us a solution for the poop based on a dog poop calculator yes ladies and gentlemen it is my job to look this sort of thing up the 101 I'll dogs would it. produce a whopping 32,000 pounds or 14,500 kilograms of poop a year that's enough to fill up 1,882 plastic shopping bags each and every day your collection of sweet lovable pups will be dropping dookies in excess of 87.6 pounds 40 kilograms of dog turd. In a perfect world, you could find a way to sell the waste as fertilizer or just use it in a garden. But wait, dog poop has harmful fecal bacteria and happens to be highly acidic, which means that it's not typically used for fertilizer. I researched composting possibilities instead, but that would take months. Best bet, make a sign that says free poop. Make a sign that says free anything and someone will take it. Or, you know, if all else fails, get yourself a mid-sized tractor and shove it all into a big hole. Oh, sure, 100 one Dalmatians, just like when you're a kid. It's all fun and games to think about having a dog, or in this case, a hundred of them, but the excitement starts to fade when the cold, harsh reality of dog turds sets in. That is why this real, channel's you don't motto is ruining dog, your childhood. But you got and to that you have is also why you should click the subscribe button right now so you can take our theory. Subscribe, bro. Subscribe. Yeah. Use them to ruin someone else's childhood. Oh, but we're not done today. Not grind, even close. Bro, on top of subscribe. these expenses, the Dalmatians will also need outdoor automatic waterers. We calculated five at about seventy dollars <laughs> a pop, and indoor four-gallon gravity waterers, ten at one hundred and six dollars per. Because Dalmatians have a unique urinary system that requires plenty of fresh water at all times. Otherwise, they're gonna get kidney stones. Oh, sure. You may think they could drink from a nearby stream, but most veterinarians agree that untreated water could run the risk of bacteria or contamination. 
station. Throw in 101 dog beds, 101 chew toys, 101 leashes, 101 grooming supplies because Dalmatians shed a lot, and 101 dog tags. And suddenly, all right, this says the Corolla was Corolla actually wrong. Oh, film theory. Oh, I, now I see. Another twelve thousand six hundred dollars. That's too much. So let's just take that five million dollar estate out of the total. They're just gonna be living in a normal, regular house, right? As such, you've hired on your two dog walkers, you've bought a giant pooper scooper, and you've cleaned out the shelves of pet supplies plus for a bunch of miscellaneous. Or you can just sell them and make bands off of them dogs dog things. In total, you've spent about $107,600. And all of that is without even tapping into the day-to-day -day expenses. Dalmatians require three cups, about 0.75 pounds or 0.34 kilograms of food a day. This equals 75.75 pounds or 35 kilograms of dry dog food in order to feed all of them every single day. Now, I know in this world, they're mostly puppies and puppies eat smaller amounts, but they're gonna grow. So I'm sticking with a three Three cups of food a day rule just to make the estimate easier it would be best to feed the dalmatians food that's low in purines to prevent uric acid from building up in their bodies thereby preventing the aforementioned urinary stone that's what i learned from this video so far that dalmatians have an issue with stones so most of the cheaper as well as high in protein diets are out which means that our cheapest option for 101 dogs is gonna cost hundred and eighty six dollars and fifty cents each day multiply that food cost by 365 days and it's sixty eight thousand seventy two dollars oh, I said three bands 68 bands 50 cents per year just to feed them all that's without even mentioning the greenies or wet food that the dogs could and should be eating occasionally since the dogs are going to be spending a lot of time outside they're going to need flea and tick treatment to prevent the 101 dogs from carrying a thousand and one fleas flea and tick treatment would cost at least nineteen thousand four hundred and five dollars and sixty seven cents annually pet insurance since you never know when Corella's coming back according to forbes advisor uk the average annual pet insurance premium in 2019 was 271 pounds. I never knew about pet insurance. For approximately $22 a month. This means the yearly insurance would cost at least $38,668.65. And now you really get a sense of how this works. The numbers really get big once you have 101 as your constant multiplier. What about vet visits? The average cost for a consultation and diagnosis is $85 with insurance. So you're spending at least $8,561 a year with visits that don't include medicine, surgery, or specialized treatment. Throw in annual boosters, $5,564 total a year, and you've suddenly added $140,271.82 in yearly expenses of food and medicine on top of the already insane $107,600 we calculated earlier. That is a grand total of $247,871.82 for the first year of ownership alone. And of that, that 210,000 is recurring expenses that are going to happen each and every year afterward. And all of that is also assuming that there are no new additions. In 2018, a Dalmatian gave birth to- And they going to get kids too. Oh, shoot. Better sell them. 18 puppies. Now imagine the 101 what Dalmatians- Tina Dalmatian gave birth to 18 puppies. Now imagine the 101 Dalmatians over time. There's going to be a lot of little puppies born on the property, and each of them is also going to have to be looked after. <coughs> each and every one of those new little bundles of joy is going to need those exact same expenses added to the total. So maybe the better financial decision would have just been to make them into coats. Well, wouldn't you know, I ran the numbers on that. In a weird twist of fate, let's just say that Corella is actually successful in taking the 99 soft fur... So in the movie, was she or wasn't she successful? She probably wasn't because it's like a, a movie. The villains don't win. ...and turning them into coats. How much could she have made off of those garments? Well, in the 1961 animated film, her henchmen say... You couldn't get off a dozen coats out of the old caboodle. Honestly, they're not wrong. On the post Warped Disney Math on ConquerMaths.com, they analyzed the age of the dogs, studied furrier websites on what fur could be used, and created some admirable math to turn a bleak subject into a learning experience that didn't make me want to cry. In the end, they figured out that Corella would have only been able to get three fabric-lined fur coats as well 
well as one muff out of those 99 puppies. Not a whole heck of a lot when compared to the absolute atrocity she's committing to get that fur. Because it is Dalmatian fur, the jacket would probably have to be reversible so the wearer could, you know, hide what their jacket is actually made of. Which is also what Cruella wanted to make in the book. Right now, Fendi is selling brown mink reversible fur coats for $27,000 a pop. So three coats and a muff, that's gonna earn you around $65,000. It's highway robbery. Dollars. Certainly a whole heck of a lot more cost effective than dropping a cool quarter of a million each and every year to keep them alive until, of course, you factor in the fact that you sold your soul in the process of making those coats. But there is a third happier option in all of this. You find the puppies a good home, just, you know, a home that isn't yours. You sell them. Seriously, I know these dogs are human level smart and they all seem awfully attracted to each other. Bertie, we're keeping the puppies, every single one of them. But moments from the books and movies made me realize that the owners are totally down to sell some of these dolls. Dalmatians. In 102 Dalmatians, the 2000 the sequel in which Cruella de Vil is hypnotized into being good, then unhypnotized when she hears the bells of Big Ben, we learned that Dipstick, one of the original 15 dogs from the 1996 movie, was adopted by Chloe Simon, who is also Cruella's probation officer. It's a small world. And in 101 Dalmatians 2 Patches London Adventure, also a sequel not to be confused with 102 Dalmatians, we see original pup Patch feeling lonely and left out as he's surrounded by so many other other dogs. In the end, he becomes an actor on the show The Thunderbolt Adventure Hour. I bring all this up because it seems like the dogs do want to grow up and move out of the house. So it may be better for the dogs, and it is most certainly better for Roger and Anita's pocketbooks. The selling price of purebred Dalmatian puppies in the UK range from 1,200 to 3,000 pounds, or bred Dalmatian puppies in the UK. What is it? Certainly better for Roger and Anita's pocketbooks. The selling price of purebred Dalmatian puppies in the UK range from 1200 to 3000 pounds or 1700 to $4,200. If each litter averages six to nine puppies, that means they could be making at least $10,000 per litter. Dalmatians can start in six months. So they can Never. make a lot of money at the plantation by selling the purebred Dalmatians to worthy owners. If, let's say, 30 of the Dalmatians have two litters each and every year, that's 360 puppies. Selling them all results in somewhere around $612,000 per year in dog earnings. And that's on the low end. Because these are indeed famous dogs, as we see in the 101 Dalmatians 2 movie, they'd probably net the high end of the asking price, totaling nearly one and a half million dollars per year in earnings. And considering that Roger and Anita are good people that care about these animals, the puppies will be healthy and the business mm -hmm. transactions will be honest. With these sort its numbers, the puppy plantation could hire more staff, buy more land, even start taking in more animals, like the Deerleys actually do in the 1956 book, where believe it or not, they even adopt Cruella's abused cat. In the end, while the theft of their beloved puppies must have been heart-wrenching, every cloud has itself a silver lining. It opened up the Deerleys' hearts to a hundred puppies, and it opened their pocketbooks to make millions off of hit songs, popular video games, and of course, their side hustle of selling Dalmatian purebreds. But hey, that's just just a theory, a film theory. And I'd like to give a very, very special thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. <sighs> That's where I cut the video off, bro. <laughs> this video was uploaded today or yesterday or whatever. Drink out a million views already, you film theorists? Man, they going crazy. I might have to sub, no lie. As you should do to my videos, but hey. It's a, it had a way different view I, that I would not even think about this. I never thought about this ever. I don't even know what to say, but hey, YouTube, subscribe, like, and comment. If you should I watch more videos like these? I don't know. If you would, just like the video. But hey, I'm on to the next video.